Welcome to our video on RO Plant Lab Chemist's interview questions and answers. This video will help you understand what to expect during the interview process. Question 1. Can you explain the reverse osmosis process? Answer. Reverse osmosis is a water purification process that uses a semi-permeable membrane to remove impurities. It's a critical step in ensuring water quality. Question 2. What are common water contaminants you've worked with? Answer. I've worked with various contaminants, including dissolved salts, minerals, organic matter, and microorganisms. Understanding their behavior is essential for effective treatment. Question 3. What are some of the common RO plant cleaning chemicals? Answer. Some of the common RO plant cleaning chemicals include Citric acid. Citric acid is a weak acid that is used to remove scale and fouling from RO membranes. Sodium hypochlorite. Bleach sodium hypochlorite is a strong oxidizer that is used to remove organic matter and biological growth from RO membranes. Peroxide. Peroxide is a strong oxidizer that is used to remove scale, fouling, and biological growth from RO membranes. Question 4. How do you maintain lab safety protocols? Answer. Lab safety is a top priority. I follow strict safety protocols, including wearing protective gear, handling chemicals with care, and maintaining a clean and organized workspace. Question 5. What analytical instruments are you proficient with? Answer. I'm proficient in using instruments like spectrophotometers, pH meters, turbidimeters, and gas chromatographs to analyze water samples accurately. Question 6. How do you ensure data accuracy and precision in water analysis? Answer. I maintain meticulous records. Calibrate instruments regularly, and use standard operating procedures to ensure data accuracy and precision. Question 7. Can you explain the importance of pH in water treatment? Answer. pH affects various chemical reactions in water treatment. Maintaining the right pH level is crucial for the effectiveness of coagulation, disinfection, and corrosion control processes. Question 8. What's the role of chemical dosage in the RO process? Answer. Chemical dosage is critical for controlling scaling and fouling in RO membranes. Accurate dosing of antiscalants and cleaners helps maintain membrane efficiency. Question 9. How do you stay informed about the latest advancements in water treatment chemistry? Answer. I stay updated by reading scientific journals, attending conferences, and participating in online forums. Continuous learning is essential in this field. Question 10. How do you handle contaminant-specific testing? Answer. For specific contaminants, I conduct specialized tests. For example, I might use ICPMS for heavy metal analysis or PCR for microbial testing, tailoring our approach to the specific challenge at hand. Question 11. Can you describe the importance of analyzing TOC, total organic carbon, in water quality assessment? Answer. TOC analysis helps us understand the level of organic matter in water. It's crucial for assessing the effectiveness of treatment processes and the potential formation of disinfection byproducts. Question 12. How do you ensure compliance with regulatory standards in water quality analysis? Answer. Compliance is a priority. I keep abreast of local and national regulations, ensure our testing methods meet standards, and maintain accurate records for audits. Question 13. What measures do you take to minimize environmental impact in water treatment chemical use? Answer, we aim for sustainability by optimizing chemical dosages, recycling water when possible, and exploring eco-friendly treatment alternatives. Question 14, describe a scenario where quick decision-making was required in the lab. How did you handle it? Answer, once, we detected a sudden spike in chlorine levels. I immediately isolated the source, shut down the injection, and alerted the team. Swift actions prevented any issues with the water quality. Question 15. How do you stay calm under pressure in emergency situations, such as equipment failures or spills? Answer. In emergencies, I follow predefined protocols, focus on the issue at hand, 
and communicate effectively with the team. Training and preparation are crucial to staying calm and resolving the situation. Question 16. What quality control procedures do you implement for sample collection and analysis? Answer. We use a strict sample collection and handling process, from identifying sources to storing samples at appropriate temperatures. Quality control checks are conducted at every stage to ensure accuracy. We hope you have learned something new. If you have any comments or questions about this topic or any suggestions for future videos, please leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on water treatment technologies. Thank you for watching.